fellow beer troopers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits, looking at yet another beer from, uh, sent to me from Jens in Germany. This is the last of the beers that I have no idea how it's going to be, because I haven't heard of the brewery or anything. The others I've left, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty tasty ones, because I've heard about them before, and from what I've seen in other reviews and such. Um, but this is from Kuchel, uh, Kuchelbauer, and this is a Kuchelbauer Turmweisel. And that's a weird tower or something all on there. And this looks like, oh yeah, this is not from Germany. This is from Switzerland. Oh wait, it says here, no, it is from Germany. It says it's brewed and bottled by Bauri zum Kuchelbauer in, in Germany. But I guess the artist, yeah, must be from yeah, Switzerland who made that funny looking label. But it's a, or, uh, a Hefeweizen on 5.9% alcohol. So it has a little story on the back about uh, Bayern, uh, Bavarian beer culture, but um, this would be interesting. I've never heard of this brewery before, so let's get it cracked open. There's so many small, obscure German breweries you've never heard of, uh, so it's kind of funny to try some of them, but um, hopefully this will be good. It certainly looks like a nice piece of ice. Looks something along the lines of Weinstefana, uh, actually. Okay, and then let's do the swirly swirl. Get the rest out of the yeast, or the feiner Hefe, as they say in Germany. And there it is. That looks like a nice Hefeweizen. Nice orange, a lot of carbonation streaming from the bottom of the glass. Super hazy, you can't see through it whatsoever. Nice. One and then, yeah, about one finger of a white head. See how the aroma on this one. Hmm. That is not what I expected. It does have that overripe banana, but it has a funny pear or apple quality almost. Like a fruitiness, almost like a sign of of a infection of some sort. Interesting. Sweet malts, definitely sugary notes, cloves. Yeah, that's interesting. It ha and also like a general bright fruit character. Also a little bit of an almost soapy note along with the clothes and, and the wheaty notes. That that note there really confuses me. Huh. Well, let's give this one a taste. Cheers, guys. Not present in the flavor, though. Hmm. That was weird. Maybe it's just my nose being all awkward. It does have a little bit of a bright fruit character, though. Uh, body on it is, is medium. It's chewy, as most of It's It has more soapy and more wheaty components than I usually find. It has lesser of the fruit esters, like the banana and all. It has a lot of wheat in the flavor. Uh, it, it's, of course, it still has overripe banana notes, but it also has... A, a pretty big amount of wheat and sweet malt and sugary notes. Some a touch of that clovey, lightly peppery feel. And the peppery feel is what lingers. It kind of falls dead flat. The flavor though, it goes like decent amount of flavor, and then it just stops. You you don't really have an aftertaste. There is a subtle aftertaste of the kind of peppery slash soapy component. Mm. And it has a light grainy, mashing grain flavor. And it also has a, almost like a light grassy hop, which is kind of interesting. It's certainly the most weird, or unique, or different <laughs> Hefeweizen I've had in a while. Hmm. Interesting stuff. It's not bad though. Uh, it's it's not anything great either. I prefer still Schneider and Weinstefana. Those are my go-to Weissbia dudes. But I have some stuff from uh, uh, from uh, Ianga that just said to be interesting to try. Because I only have one Ianga beer, and that is their uh, uh, their Cinnabots or the Double Buck, which is amazing. But this is still, it's not bad, it's just pretty good, it's just a different vice beer. But rating wise, 75 out of this one. It's a, again a good, pretty good vice beer, but not up in the 80s level. It's It could have been done better, but. Yeah, uh, still worth picking up if you can get it, just to try a, a kind of an odd Weissbier or Hefeweizen. 
Uh, but yeah, guys, definitely let me know what you think of the Kucherbauer Turmweiser if you've had it. Guys, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. Thanks to Jens for sending this one out. And uh, look forward to more reviews of the beers he sent. Not only just German ones, there's also an Italian and a couple of English brews in there. So yeah, cheers.